Chairman spoke in an exclusive interview you saw first on the Fox 31 Morning News about the massive search he is leading to find his sister. Natalie Tisdall reports. What do you think happened to your sister? You've been very vocal about this. You want to keep it in the spotlight. I know you want to be able to bring her home, but what do you think happened? Oh, I think that she was uh, abducted. I don't think she ever got on her bike. Um, I think she probably died Saturday and she was hidden somewhere Saturday night. In an exclusive interview this morning live on TV, Andrew Mormon talked about how much he misses his little sister and about the search he helped organize. We had to process some evidence yesterday that we found up on a mountain, so um, it's coming along. Can you tell I, us about any of that evidence? Um, I'd hate to speak too much about it. Um, I can just tell you it was close to the Morphew residence. Mormon also talked about his brother-in-law, Suzanne's husband, Barry Morphew. Yesterday we ran into him as we um, crossed that mountaintop where we found the evidence, and he was out hanging trail cams and uh, had a shotgun on his shoulder and warned us not to go any further because we were about to enter private property. As for Barry's involvement in the search... No, he's not involved in the search, and he has been invited to the search Personally, he's not cooperating enough with the police. He should have done a voice analysis and lie detector right off the bat. And some of his behavior since then have been quite strange. And now, 138 days after his sister's disappearance, he holds hope that she is alive. We know you're yeah. out there giving it your best efforts. Yeah, it, it's a slim chance that we'll find her alive, but you never know. Natalie Tisdall, Fox 31 News. Right now, firefighters.